Hey guys, Abner Miranda here. Earlier I was working on editing some video and I came upon a run, uh, my run out of class, a talent defense class, where it was completely focused on rifle and tracking moving targets. The reason that this really stood out and I want to show it to you guys again is because I didn't really cover one facet that to me has become so commonplace, but I realized that it's, it's quickly becoming a lost art and it's iron sights. You'll notice that the weapon that I'm shooting has no optic on it. That's by design. But I wanted to set up this rifle with just Troy micro battle sights because I wanted to practice the skills of tracking a target with just iron sights. Now here's what's crucial. When you're picking your sights, make sure that you're picking sights that have a kind of a diopter setup where your front sight post has more of a ring to it as opposed to the, the, the two blades on either side with the post in the middle. The reason for that is that front will actually slot visually into the rear and basically what it gives you is kind of like a, a loose red dot effect where everything inside of that ring inside of a very close range is going to get hit. It's not going to get hit precisely but it's going to get hit. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? So as you can see, the key to working with iron sights is going to be, first of all, get a very tight zero. I no longer settle for just, you know, just good enough. I settle for uh, shot groups at 50 yards where all the rounds are touching one another inside the size of a thumbnail. If I can get, if I can get shots where all those bullets are just touching one another, and what, I, and what I mean by that is shots touching one another inside of a thumbnail, because remember, you can have three shots touching one another, one, two, three, and they're outside the expanse of a thumbnail. But if I can cover that little group, that little clover leaf with my thumbnail, that to me is a zeroed rifle. And yes, you are able to get a tight enough zero at 50 yards with iron sights that will, that will yield roughly the size of a nickel. If you can get your weapon that tight, which requires patience, requires you allowing the weapon to cool down so that you're always dealing with a cold bore shot. If you can get your iron sighted rifle that tight, what you're gonna end up with in a fight is a weapon that is, sh that is truly shooting uh, true to where you're looking. So for those of you that want a great rifle, and you, know, you go out and you either build it or you get it. And then you say, well, I just don't have money for it. Don't worry about it. Get a really nice set of iron sights. And my favorites really guys are Troy. Uh, anyways, that's what I've got for you guys today. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you. Get those wonderful practices. Have a good one. And this is a great time to close this video because here comes the next train.